Hello folks, I just made a video recommending channels for you to subscribe to. I did forget a couple. I want to add Inside Fighting for the martial arts stuff. He just had me on yet again. I've been on like, I think like five times now, four or five times now. Um, so if you search Inside Fighting, Dan the Wolfman, hopefully most of those will come up. Uh, we just did some, uh, broke down three street fights. So I'm still in that world and I'm putting out martial arts videos and doing the best that I can with injuries and disease and all of that. It's not like when I was a bit younger. It is what it is. That's called life. Um, oh, and I forgot Hipster Tactical as well. So he always seemed like a cool dude and we piggybacked off of each other. Good people should help each other out. It'd be nice if some of the bit bigger channels and even the medium channels would shout out some of the... Uh, the smaller channels that would be good uh, but anyway I have some questions for you and that is I've debated a long time should I go into the times that I've needed again and most of those have been as a civilian not uh, working armed security there's been two times two stories I could two or three that I could tell while working armed security but much bigger than that is the time as a civilian. See, if you work in cities, isn't that interesting? Who controls most of the large population centers in the United States? Always have the highest crime rates. If you live in and around big or even medium cities, how bad the crime and the drugs are, how often that people struggling to make ends meet are gonna need a gun. How often do Americans need again? I think the more realistic statistic is a minimum three to three and a half million times a year. They try to play it down like it's under a million, uh, but but who funds those studies? It's more three, three and a half. And in the inner cities, it's probably a whole lot more of defensive displays. Back off, dude, I got a gun, or occasionally even drawing it, right? Um, I've been debating about telling my stories. So if you want to hear those, um, I kind of want to be a little careful because I don't want to use it against me later. But the truth of the matter is Americans do need to defensively display. That doesn't mean three, three and a half million times they shoot. In fact, good guys are so good they don't want to shoot someone because they don't want to kill someone or even badly injure someone, even shit bags. Okay, for all the bravado people talk, we're good people and we don't really want to do that, right? Because we know that psychologically we're going to have PTSD from it. We know that we're going to get possibly in those controlled areas prosecuted illegally when you're totally in the righteous, that you're going to get dragged through the court system, that you're going to lose hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars, that it causes so much stress, most people end up losing, they get fired even though it's completely righteous self-defense, uh, they end up getting divorced, it's it's horrible. So good guys only shoot the last stat that I checked from the FBI 268 times a year, three and a half million, maybe more, I think more because in the inner cities, you don't bother to call the cops, I've only bothered to call the cops like twice. Okay, because of how bad the first time was. Um, <laughs> when seconds count, police are only not even going to come to 10, 30 minutes, an hour, if you would live in the boondocks, two, three hours away, right? Right? They don't even care on the phone. They don't even take reports. Uh, two robbers just try to get me, and uh, yeah. Okay, we'll send up a control do another patrol in the area. Oh, I'm sorry. We got to transfer you even though the address is technically this city. It's the other side of the street. That was my first experience. Um, never once did they doubt me when I called, by the way. Like, they were like, oh, yeah, that's where you are. <laughs> um, things should not go that bad. So if you want my defensive display stories or the times I've needed to at least put my hand on a pistol or display a little bit, um, I try to do things, especially in certain states, know your brandishing walls. I don't want, he said, criminals know to call right away a lot of times. Um, or even had to draw, right? So, um, let me know. That's something that's kind of a big deal. And I think it might help a lot of people, but I'm not looking for trouble. I've lived in and around 
some some bad murder capitals and, and major cities and even where I am right here I might film some videos and you will hear gunshots okay I live in a nicer area now but you will hear some gunfire occasionally um, the first time I called I finally got pleased to respond and uh, like oh well we think it was fireworks okay multiple times I hear um, what sounds like I, I think now is is stolen or illegally made guns being test fired because it's usually one magazine at a cadence you're not supposed to most people in city limits like I'm out in the county like I shot in the county yesterday you, you can shoot uh, you know uh, safely right but um, in the city limits you ain't supposed to be shooting I don't think anyone here has improved range in their basement or anything, but I think it's being test firing. So anyway, guys, always carry it. Always be carrying. Even if you live in a nice area, most of the time I do, but yet there's still like one really methy gas station by the range I have to go to. And unfortunately, uh, my, my FFL of choice, uh, that's awesome, um, is kind of on meth row. And the restaurant I like to eat, uh, like occasionally at, is on meth row right there. Um, so that's going to lead to the next video uh, where I'm going to discuss about carrying two wheel guns and uh, if that's an option. So if you're interested, because I'm just babbling to kill time, if you're interested, just give me, uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. It would be great if you guys drop some comments and we all try to support each other, which is uh, likely... Um, some some possibly really bad times coming up when the uh, entire power grid goes down as just phase one. When power grid and communications go down just as phase one. Do you got water? Do you got food? Do you got extra batteries? Flashlights? We're not. Most of you are way less prepared than me. Uh, and some of you are going to gun go whatever, but we're not prepared for that. So get prepared.